I got one problem with Mike Perry. I really do. Now, I'm talking about the way that Mike Perry is potentially going to be used for the Logan Paul, Dillis Dennis situation. Because I'm going to bring in KSI and Bobby Fury into the same thing. Like, between those four guys, they all kind of weigh the same. I don't know what they weigh. I don't really care what people weigh. But I know that they're kind of close because I know that, that Logan and KSI fought. And I know Logan and Jake are pretty close. I mean, I'm telling you guys my math on this. Maybe you know the numbers out there because you're nerdier than I am. But I'm just sharing, like, by my own deductions, I know that Jake and Logan are, are, are pretty close. And Jake fought Fury. So I know they got it. They just they got to be pretty close, right? And the way that Perry is at least as advertised being used is in case Dylan Dennis doesn't go through with the match with Logan. And I give Logan all the credit in the world because that may, Logan is making one very clear statement: I am boxing that night. Buy a ticket, you will see me. Like, there's not many guys that do that. By the way. Very cool move, particularly for a co-main event. I mean, I've seen backup fighters before in my life. I ain't never seen a backup fighter for a co-main event, and neither of you in any promotion, anywhere in the world, any sport, any way that you want to do it. Which brings me to my point. I don't want Mike Perry just reserved for that role. Like, you want to give Dylan Dennis a hard time for pulling out? Okay, great. What about the time that Tommy Fury cost everybody a fight? I mean, you got no guarantee. Now, Tommy Fury ain't afraid to box non-boxers. He is afraid to box a boxer. I'm not giving him a hard time. I'm sharing with you that he's probably going to show up. But if you're going to give Dylan a second look, why are you not giving it to Fury? He did the same thing. I mean, not for nothing. KSI, the non-boxer, I think we can rely on. Whether he feels good or not, he seems to follow through on his word. Logan Paul, we, we know he will. I mean, that's what having a guy and having a backup guy that we weren't even told about is about. Oh, by the way, the backup guy just beat a world champion named Luke Rockhold, who not for nothing, I don't think you can beat. So you're agreeing to a much harder fight. Generally, the backup isn't the harder fight. Generally, they don't bring in a champion. They don't bring in a main eventer. I mean, right? We got to give Logan a lot of credit, but now let's take a look at Mike. So I do fully believe that Dylan and Logan are going to go and have their match, but let's take a look at Mike Perry. How do you use him? I mean, in all fairness, when they came on that stage and they did the face-off, talking about Logan and talk, talking about Mike Perry, they had ushered Dylan out the back, which has him pissed off, but they bring in Mike Perry. From a promotional standpoint, it was a very intelligent thing to do. You need to let the audience know you're going to have this guy where we, 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 we've been burned once. We're not going to be burned twice. So here's what we've done. Okay, that's good responsibility. Then, moreover, if you do have to go with the match, you need the artwork. You need the poster. So you got to have the face-off. So they, everything made sense. I just don't want Harry to only get brought in off the bench as a way of replacing in the event Dylan. I want Perry put in there anywhere you need him at the top. Perry versus KSI, I'm in. And by the way, I don't even need to ask KSI. KSI's in. Perry versus Fury, problem. Guaranteed. Fury doesn't want to box a boxer. If KSI came off the bill and you put Perry in, with all the size and with all the everything, ugh, ugh. I'm not confident in telling you Bobby Fury's going to go to do that deal. But I think that we should at least try, right? I mean, I feel as though Perry can be a replacement guy for any of the four. And maybe you're thinking in your head, or maybe, or maybe Mams is watching this and he's going, well, Chael, that's what I do. I'm for well, then let's give him the credit. As, as much as I appreciate that Logan is absolutely competing that night and he's got a plan and he's got a backup plan. And I respect that a lot. And I think that you guys do too. But if, if Harry is willing to go in in any which order, only thing he knows is they're all bigger than him. And he hasn't prepared specifically for any of them. And all of a sudden you put him in. I'm just saying, if that is the scenario, let's give Perry his credit.
I know that you guys love Perry, and I know that Perry's appreciated. But in this particular situation, I think that he's underappreciated. And I think that the tactics of the promoter himself and the promotion itself are being undervalued. It's a very intelligent thing to do. It comes with a big expense. It's hard to put events like this on. But it's harder to put an event like this on and lose one of your feature matches. So they have a plan B. I just don't know that I believe Perry's only going in in the absence of Dylan. I think Perry's ready to step in against any of the four, including Dylan, if Logan doesn't pull out. Not for nothing. And if that's the case, let's acknowledge and appreciate and celebrate Mike Perry.